Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Everything is going really well at our colony. We're um, just coming out of winter. It's springtime, which means we can uh, start sowing crops probably now. It's over freezing. So we're going to allow sowing for a new... Actually, let's not plant tay just yet. Let's, let's plant rice first. And let's plant our heel root as well. We're going to hold off on hay because we have plenty of hay um, left over and uh, the animals are going to have something to graze on soon. Once we get these crops planted, then we'll plant the hay fields. We've got um, a new baby in the colony, Baby Gorilla, who is very happy um, and is sleeping right next to his two parents. His? Yeah, he's a male. Okay, perfect. And uh, we're getting raided. They're attacking immediately with a steel knife. Okay, nothing we haven't seen before, nothing we can't handle. So let's go ahead and recruit our two colonists, see where this guy is coming. Looks like he's gonna come up and around this way. All right, here we go. Perfect. So let's take a look at this guy's bio and see if we're going to want to bother recruiting him or not. He's incapable of cooking and firefighting. That's interesting. Um, he's a nudist, which means that he'll have a mood bonus if he's not wearing clothes. Um, but it's probably not a big deal if we put him in clothes. Jogger is pretty good. He moves pretty quickly. And his current skills are social, medical, artistic, and crafting. Um, and he sucks about just everything else. He sucks at about just everything else. Under normal circumstances, I'd say we don't need to recruit this guy. But beggars can't be choosers. Let's try to recruit him. So instead of killing him outright by using sharp and deadly weapons, why don't we bring Minyaka in with the club to club club him to death not to death um club him unconscious and then we can rescue him uh imprison him recruit him um and since this guy's good at social medical artistic and crafting eventually he's just going to be our our crafter and janitor um he could potentially do some research for us as well i think that's decent for him he's not going to be very helpful in defending the colony unfortunately um, and he's not going to be very helpful with very many other things, but like I said, beggars can't be choosers. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to send Minyaka in with this, and we're going to send Tronka in to do some melee as well. We're going to double team him. Is he dead? Oh. That's, that's a real disappointment. That's a real shame. All right. Um, yeah, he's got a poor steel knife, 25% here too. It's a real shame. We were hoping to recruit him. For the time being, Minyaka has to still take care of her, um, her baby, even when she's bleeding out. Alright, Minyaka, you need to take a rest so that Tronka can tend to you. Tronka, you need to tend to her wounds. Uh, first, clean the bedroom. There's a lot of blood around. Now I need you to tend to her. Oh, he's already tending to her. Perfect. What a good husband. All right, 10 quality, 12%. That's really bad, but hopefully she doesn't get infected. All right. Well, another raid down. Another missed opportunity for a new colonist. Real shame, that. Are these boars going to eat this guy? That would be helpful if they could be body disposal for me. All these boars, we could probably hunt them. Yeah, we'll hunt four of them. Why not? OK, 
Okay, in the meantime, Minyaka is not stopping uh, her work for anything. She was just bandaged up and she's right back to it. Hauling away. Tronka, our resident um, farmer, is going to have a lot of work cut out for him. I think it's going to be worth um, hunting these boars even if we don't need the meat just for the purpose of getting them away from our base they're going to eat all of our crops they're pests we need it. it's pest control hunting these boars i think everyone's sleep schedule has just gotten completely messed up tronka just woke up for the day and it's already 21 o'clock nine o'clock at night wow right back to bed with his sleep meter only at 70% yeah all right thankfully thankfully Minyaka healed right up we need to prioritize research a little more Minyaka should have time to do that but I think with the baby she's a little bit busy but I want to get a school desk up and running by the time Gorilla is old enough I don't know how we can pull this off we need Tronka to be farming but hopefully when Tronka gets done farming all these fields Tronka will research we don't need to plant the hay right away like I said that's a lower priority there's already grass growing back in the pen. Minyaka has inspired creativity. So if we use Minyaka to construct something, it will be of a higher quality than expected. What could we possibly ask Minyaka to construct? We don't have a lot of furniture options at this time. Yeah, it's probably not worth doing anything. This granite table is normal. This bedroll is awful. Maybe we could, um... Do we have enough plain leather to build a new one? Let's, let's see. Furniture. Double bedroll. Plain leather. Takes 85. Alright. Manyaka? Use those 85 plain leathers. Make a good bedroll with your inspiration. It's a good bedroll. All right, so we can go ahead and disc deconstruct this one. All right, and we can move this one, reinstall at right here. Perfect. Minyaka and Chanka are getting some um, recreation time in in the evening. So curious, what did uh, building a good bedroll do to this room? The beauty is still ugly. The impressiveness is awful. The wealth is mediocre. Okay, it's still an awful bedroom, I think. Yeah, awful bedroom minus four. I thought maybe we could improve the awful bedroom, but oh well. It wasn't meant to be. Um, now that it's warming up a bit outside, we could probably get away with starting to remove some of these unnecessary extra torches. Let's uh, deconstruct one of these. Eventually, we're going to deconstruct both of them. 57 venison just rotted away in storage. That's a real shame. One of the benefits of winter time as a tribal is that it's like a free refrigeration during the winter. And now that we're losing our free refrigeration, our food's going to start to spoil again. Alright, so once Tronka gets caught up on cooking meals again, hopefully Tronka will get to some researching. 
That's my hope, as well, at least. Tronka's only priorities are um, growing, hunting, cooking, researching. And of course we gave him hunting to do. So I'm going to cancel all this hunting. I think research is more important than getting, getting rid of these boars. Yes, they may eat our crops, but that's a nuisance we will deal with. Our first priority is going to be getting re uh, furniture unlocked and researched. All right, there you go, Chanka. I'm going to delete this cook simple meal forever. This is out of meat. No, I'm going to delete this one because I'm going to replace it with cook simple meal times four. Do until you have 10. There we go. Now um, Tronka will be cooking in batches of four, which will hopefully be a little bit more efficient. That's of course when we're when we're not using meat. Minyak is getting some research done. Fantastic! That's exactly what we need. Three fifty-six out of four fifty. How's Minyaka's research skill coming along? Level two intellectual. Tronk is still much better as a level four intellectual, but. No, whatever we can get, we'll take. Tronka, why are you sleeping in separate beds? Tronka, you're supposed to be sleeping with your wife. This is gonna be the kids' bedroom. All right, so it's morning and we have a new Quest available. Colonist outsourcing. High Stellic Petronia Ducerier. I don't know how to pronounce that. Of the Empire of God needs an extra hand to help fortify a settlement. She's asking you to lend one colonist for thir uh, one colonist 13 years older, older for five days, and in return, she will give us a masterwork book for honor or 15 goodwill. I don't think we can spare either of our colonists right now. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to let that quest go. Now, I'm looking at our pen as it is springtime and let's look at our list of animals. We still have our original um, eight-year-old and 15-year-old yak. Um, and then we have three young calf um, Three young male calves. Let's see. Um, I think I clicked on the wrong one. We have this one, Yak 3. We could probably slaughter. Uh, it's juvenile. We're going to wait for it to be fully grown before we slaughter it. But really, we only need to keep the females as they'll produce milk. All the males we can slaughter. We only need to keep one male for breeding. Farming is quite a quite the brutal world, isn't it? All right, I think Trak is gonna finish this research project either today or tomorrow. Trak is breezing through it. How much experience? Trak is probably gonna level up to level five intellectual off of the back of this as well, which is good. We're getting better and better at intellectual. Um, the only thing we're still lacking in is social skills. Minyaka only has level 3 social skills, um, which is going to pose a problem when we want to start recruiting and converting prisoners. I'm going to go to remove the plans because this is bothering me, seeing those plans still up. Um, but we should be fine otherwise. A group of travelers from the Pact of Born are passing by. Where are these travelers? Here they are. What's the deal with the Pact of Born? Are these guys worth kidnapping? We'll piss off the Pact of Born if we kidnap them, but might be worth it. it? Worth it. Um, Mantis is a 30-year-old female who's a decent shot, can hold her own in a fight, a melee fight. Um, other than that, She's got pretty low skills, except for animals. Uh, social skills are 
still pretty low, but she has the fast learner trait, which is probably one of the best traits in the game. And nimble, which means she'll do really well in uh, melee fights. Huh. She might be worth picking up. Of course, we also have a 16-year-old female who is a night owl, who is kind, um, but kind of sucks at everything and doesn't have very many passions. I'm seriously considering kidnapping uh, one of these people. Now, the Pact of Born is one of the only factions that is... Um, that is not hostile with us. Though I think Easter Nea will um, probably learn to be okay with us over time. Let's look at our world map. I don't want to cut ourselves off from any potential trading partners. Would we be trading with the Pact of Born? Potentially. I think we could also probably potentially no none of these um, none of these tribes will want to trade with us except for the Pact of Born. Hmm. We might grow to regret this decision, but I think we need the. I think we need the manpower. So I'm going to go ahead, go into furniture, create a sleeping spot right here. And I'm gonna send Minyaka over to try to arrest Mantis. Um, Tronka is going to come over to support. I don't think we're gonna catch catch them. In time. Um, Tronka will have a lower chance of arresting Mantis. Oh, we just lost our, just lost our opportunity. They left the map. Shame. If they were traveling a little more inwards, we would have been able to capture them. But maybe it's for the best. Maybe we didn't want to piss off one of our only friendly factions on the map. Complex Furniture has only eight more progress to go. We'll get that done tomorrow. Then higher in our priority is going to be building a desk for Gorilla. School desk. So when Gorilla comes of age, we can start educating him. How are we doing on this quest to take care of Sleepy? Uh, we want active quests, guarding Sleepy. Um, shuttle will arrive in one day, 23 hours. All right, fantastic. I think the reward for that was a side trainer, which we can, um, I think the, the power was Beckon, which forces somebody to come towards you, so I think we'll put that on our melee fighter, which is Tronka. Um, let's see what new research option. Yeah, we want to go back to researching clothing for sure. And then stone cutting is going to be our next um, priority, and then great bow will be our next priority. Great bows are pretty good. They have really high range, so um, it's good for keeping a distance um, during raids. So let's go ahead and go into furniture. We could probably build a normal bed for our colonists as well. It'll be more comfortable than a bedroll. But priorities first. We'll, we'll create a little corner of our main hall to serve as the classroom. And um, to improve the effectiveness of this classroom, we need some blackboards. Fantastic. We can put some chairs there to make um, our colonists more comfortable. And we've got visitors from the Pact of Born. Are they gonna wanna trade? 
Are they worth kidnapping? We've already considered kidnapping from this faction again, so I wouldn't put it past us. All right, so we have a 29-year-old archer um, who actually sucks at shooting, so kind of funny that she's an archer. Um, level 12 mining, level 6 plants. She'd be decent as a grower, um, but really not useful with much else. Or we could kidnap walrus. Hmm... Four intellectual, four crafting, but sucks at fighting. I don't think either of these people are going to be worth recruiting. So let's not kidnap them. They're just not that good colonists. We'll just let them do their thing. We have a psychic soothe female. So Minyaka is going to be um, enjoying a nice mood, mood bonus. Yeah, 16. Wow, that's a really good mood bonus. Fantastic. I don't know if this field's going to be big enough for all of our heal root needs. Why don't we expand this growing zone um, a little bit? Grow some more uh, heal root. We'll, we'll get to planting that in the morning. But I think that'll be really good for us. There's a bear sleeping outside the colony. We should be careful. This bear might decide to start hunting us for food. Hmm. I don't think it's worth pissing off the bear on the off chance of protecting us in case it decides to attack. I think we're better just leaving it alone and hoping, praying to God that it doesn't decide to attack. All right, Minyaka, building some chairs. How's Minyaka's construction skill? Minyaka is an all right constructor now. She's not bad, she's not good. Fantastic. We've got rare thrombos. I don't think we can take on rare thrombos with two colonists. But the shuttle arrived for Sleepy. So let's set to load. We're gonna set Sleepy. Okay. Um, and let's get Minyaka to escort Sleepy to the shuttle. That is our resident warden. This is Minyaka's responsibility. This is exactly what I was worried about. The grizzly bear is hunting Minyaka. Um, let's send the shuttle. We will get a Psy trainer coming nearby. But first, got to get Minyaka to safety. Okay. Minyaka is safe. Tronka, on the other hand... Needs to start firing at the grizzly bear. I think I'm going to go to speed level one. Minyaka, I need to recruit. And we need to be very careful how we deal with this grizzly bear. We've reduced this moving to 88%, which is a really good shot for Tronka. So let's try to land one more shot, and then we need to kite this. Kite the bear. Come on, Tronka, you've got this. Let's see if we can lure the bear. We can't lure the bear away from Tronka. All right, Minyaka, get as close as you dare. This poor bear, Jesus. Moving is at 84%, but I guess bears move faster than humans because we're still not able to outrun it. Alright, Minyaka. Grizzly bear hunting Tronka. Grizzly bear hunting Minyaka. We know, we know. We quite foolishly... We quite foolishly tried to take this bear down. Uh, Minyaka, I need you to just go right out and start attacking the grizzly bear. How's the grizzly bear doing? Moving 81%. Oh my gosh, it's catching up. It's okay, Minyaka's also catching up. Minyaka, you know what to do.
There we go. Keep this up, Chanka, and we might just live to see another day. All right. Let's see what damages we've sustained. Tronka just has a couple of scratches, but Tronka will be fine. Vinyaka just has a couple of scratches. They both have a death in 20 hours, so let's go ahead, unrecruit them, and uh, let's set their priority to bed rest temporarily so that they can, uh, they can address each other's wounds. And then, Supposedly we got a side trainer. Here's our side trainer. Um, we'll want to haul that side trainer indoors and install it when we get the chance. Okay, Minyaka, I need you to clean the bedroom for higher um, tend quality. I need you to clean again. You missed the spot. Okay, now I need you to tend to Tronka. She's already on it. Fantastic. Way to go, Minyaka. You're a champion. Her moving is to 60%. I hope Gorilla's not being neglected in the process of this. How's Gorilla's need for food and sleep? Okay, Gorilla can do without feeding for a little while, so at least there's that. Oof, these scratches will take a while to heal. 6.8, 6.6, yeah, these will take a while to heal. So we're going to unprioritize bed rest and get them back to working their regular day jobs. They have stuff to do. They can't just lounge around in a bed all day. They don't have that luxury. A garland pod has spouted nearby. All right, let's go ahead and harvest this. We'll put it in our storage. I don't think we're going to plant the tree anytime soon. Um, the guaranland trees basically spawn a bunch of like wood dryads or something that you can specialize to work for the colony, but they take a lot of time to maintain. It's like a full-time job just maintaining the tree almost. So until we have a few more colonists, we're going to not plant the tree. Thanks to High Mood, Tronk has experience and inspiration. He will shoot more accurately for the next eight days. All right, I look forward to seeing this increased accuracy in action. I see we have Wake Up in our storage, and this makes me nervous. Let's um, unallow this, and let's go to Assign, Drug Policy, No Drugs. Okay, good. Our colonists are not supposed to mess with these drugs anyways. That being said, if they have a um, mental break, they might decide to try out the drugs, which would be tragic. We'll try to sell it off to a merchant at the next possible opportunity. Alright, both of our colonists are fully healed once again. They can resume their day-to-day -day activities, taking care of the colony. Okay, I think we should go ahead and harvest some hay. I think we should also... Um, set this priority to low for hay. So that we'll, we will start storing the hay in the uh, pantry again. The reason why we don't want to store the hay in here until winter time is because I think the animals prefer to eat hay to grazing on the grass inside their pen. So by storing the hay here, we can remove that temptation and have them graze on the grass during the spring and summertime, and then only eat the hay during winter. There are cargo pods with a bunch of milk, 206 milk. That's so much milk, I almost don't think it's worth bringing this out of the colony. It's just gonna expire and create extra work to create meals that are going to expire. I'm just going to leave that out there. We don't need it. We really don't need all that extra food. It's not worth it. What happened to the side trainer? 
here it is. Beckon. Alright, how do I install this? If I go to Minyaka, who is our melee specialist. Melee skills of six. Honestly, Tronka might be a better melee specialist, but at the time being, we need Tronka as a shooter because I can't remember why we said we wanted Tronka to be a shooter. I think we want Tronka to do hunting, that's why. Um, okay, we'll have Minyaka be our, our melee specialist. That's fine. If we go to health, Operations, add bill. Can we install? I don't see an option for install the side trainer. Interesting. Use side trainer to learn back in side cast. Requires side link. Oh, so a side trainer requires a side link. So we can't install this until we start climbing the ranks of the royalty and have a Psylink bestowed upon us for being nobility in the empire. Okay, we will get, we'll make a priority of that. We'll get to it eventually. I say we'll make a priority. We'll make a low priority of that. It's not urgent. All right, so we have a group of people with a short bow, unwaveringly loyal. So we don't need to worry about trying to recruit this person. Eagle just has a short bow. It's a poor short bow too, so it's gonna have um, low accuracy. And Eagle is preparing before attacking, so while he's preparing, we can go about our daily business and run the colony as usual. We'll just wait for the notification that says he's beginning his assault, and then we'll recruit our colonists and get ready to stand in defense of the colony. All right, they're beginning their assault. Now, since Eagle is using a short bow, we're gonna to wanna to find cover. So I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Tronka here. I'm gonna have Minyaka hide behind here as well. And I think this will provide good cover for us. Fantastic. Great first shot. I think Tronka has inspired shooting. Wow, that inspired shooting is great. We just two-shotted this uh, this raider. Okay, we don't need to pick up this poor short bow. So we'll go ahead and leave that not allowed so it can decay on the floor. And then our colonists can get back to work. Completely unscathed from that raid. I wish everything in this game could go that smoothly. Wow, Tronka has plants level 13? Tronka has really uh, grown a lot in the short time that he's been uh, out here. He's a strong expert in uh, the ways of horticulture. Decent shot, decent melee. He still uh, needs to improve his cooking skills, though. He still kind of sucks at cooking. He will improve in time. Minyaka, um... Yeah, decent shot, decent melee, a little bit worse than uh, Tronka, but um, all right at construction, all right at um, animals, still pretty bad at social. Manyaka's not a great colonist, but they are original. They are original colonists, so we have to deal with what we've got. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep them around for the entire playthrough. Oh, this is why we decided to have Minyaka as our melee specialist, because Minyaka has the nimble and the fast walker traits, which are really good for melee. All right. We'll go ahead and wait for morning time. And I see another bear. So I say we get rid of this threat before it becomes a threat. Minyaka Tronka. All right. Let's go ahead, recruit you guys. Let's bring you over here. And Tronka, I want you to fire at the bear. Only get as close as you need to. Minyaka, I need you to be ready. 
to defend your husband. Okay, we landed four shots off. Hopefully, yeah, we brought it's moving down to 69%. I think this is time to run. We can let it bleed out a little bit as we run away. Death in 14 hours. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can get off one more shot. Shooting level 10. Wow, we're doing really well. Moving is down to 66%. Um, it's moving is still a little faster than I would like, so let's continue kiting it around. We don't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bear in melee, so keep a distance and shoot it. All right, got off another shot, moving down to 63%. Death in nine hours, it's gonna keep bleeding out, which is exactly what we want. Okay, let's kite it around here a little bit. Okay, let's see if we can get off a couple more shots. Fantastic. All right, Minyaka, I need you to melee attack the grizzly to death. Tronka, you can go about your business. All right, we can allow this, and we can have Minyaka prioritize hauling this back to base. And that is how you hunt a grizzly bear without getting hurt. Plus, this bear fur is probably going to be good to make some uh, bear skin. Is going to be good to make some. Uh, tribal clothing. I wonder what you can make out of bear skin. What does it say? Compared to most leather, it is quite a bit tougher and quite a bit better at all kinds of temperature regulation. Yeah, this would be good for making some tribal wear out of. We just need to get tailoring benches. Alright, we're getting all this hay planted, which is fantastic. Start stocking up for the next winter. Oh, all our bear meat has already rotted from the last bear. It's a shame. It's going to be so nice when we finally research electricity and we can uh, have a proper fridge. Playing, uh, starting as tribal, I like starting as tribal. Yes, it's a slow start usually, but once, uh, once you eventually do research all those advanced technologies, it makes it all the more satisfying because you had to, you had to do everything the hard way for so long. It makes you really appreciate and not take for granted things like air conditioning, heaters, um, stuff like that. Right. We're kind of in a stasis here. We don't need to expand the colony at all until we get more colonists. So at the time being, we're not really embarking on any new construction projects. We're just going to maintain our, our homeostasis here. Maintain what we have going. What we have going is good. It's working. Gorilla is going to grow into a nice and productive member of the colony. I, I don't know how long it takes for children to grow up in this game. I think maybe like two or three years. So it'll be a little while before Gorilla's actually working and contributing, but for the time being, Gorilla's making his parents happy. If I go to needs, my child Gorilla is happy. There you go. Worth it for the mood buff. I know you can technically um, put kids to work in this game, but when kids are working, they're not being educated, which means that they're going to grow up to be um, worse. I'd rather just have highly educated children so that we can really have a strong impact on how they turn out as adults. Alright, Tronka is busy cooking up all this bear meat into meals. We'll never starve at this rate. Hopefully when Tronka is done with this, Tronka can start to um, do some more research. 
I think we're going to move away from rice. One benefit of rice is that it keeps forever. So without refrigeration, it's pretty good. Um, but I think corn also lasts a pretty long time. And the benefit of corn... Um, the benefit of corn is that the yield is a little bit higher than rice and it requires much less work and maintenance. So rice is con it grows really quickly, so you have to replant it and harvest it like really frequently. So it's really high labor to maintain. Corn takes a really long time to grow. So you plant it once, you might only get like two harvests in a growing season. But um, for much less work, you get around the same amount of food or maybe even a little more. All right, Minyaka, what are you doing in here? You're relaxing socially in the kitchen. Interesting choice. So apparently we're having a heat wave. Um, so I definitely need to deconstruct these torches. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Um, and I probably should cancel toggle automatic refuel for this fireplace. So we're not causing this place to be any warmer than it already needs to be. This poor baby... It's in here at 108 degrees Fahrenheit. There's nothing we can do for that poor baby. Hopefully the baby doesn't get a heat stroke. Oh, speaking of, hopefully the baby doesn't get a heat stroke. The baby has heat stroke. Um, I think under temperature, we can get passive coolers. They're like the opposite of um, campfires. They do an okay job at regulating indoor temperature. They're not great, but they're not terrible. Minyaka, I need you to prioritize working on the passive cooler. We need wood, and we don't have wood. This is a problem. All right. Okay, Tronka, I need you to get this wood as soon as possible so Gorilla doesn't die of heat stroke in here. Shelter for an ally. Orange Senepo. Anima Chief of Pact of Born is requesting a favor. Her friend Grey Xiao is interested in learning about other cultures, and she wants you to host him at Aswar for nine days. This could potentially net us a third colonist. Might be worth it. Let's see. Who is Clara? She's decent at melee. Sanguine, that's a really good trait. Permanent mood effect plus 12. Incapable of social. Okay. It's not great. It's not bad. Um, she's already at growing. That's a good enough... Like, that's a great skill to have. Hmm. I think we're going to take her. Except. Alright. We just have to host Xiao uh, for 12 days. All right. Welcome, Xiao. I don't think Xiao's gonna be able to do any work while he's here. Or he will. Let's go to our quest, I can't remember. Yeah, it doesn't say anything like Xiao won't be willing to do any work, so we can put Xiao to work too. Um, what's Xiao's uh, loadout looking like? All right, in a fight? Pretty much terrible at everything else. All right, Xiao, we're gonna have you on. Priority, hauling, and cleaning. Um, you can do a little bit of um, growing as priority too, if you need. But other than that, we don't want you constructing. I'd rather have Minyaka do it so she can get the experience. We don't need you doing handling work. Level 4. Ah, eh, might as well have you do some handling if you have the time. Alright. Welcome, Xiao. Perfect. Someone to finally keep all this, the base clear of blood and grime and dirt. It's been ages since we last cleaned this place. See how you're doing God's work. 
Xiao is throwing a party. Within like hours of being here, Xiao decides to throw a party. Xiao must be a real social butterfly. All right, have fun. Heat wave. All right. Gorilla's gonna die out here though. Heat stroke initial. 8.9%. As soon as this party's over, Tronka needs to get to chopping some trees. It's a bat, a mad boom rat. Where is this mad boom rat? It's gonna attack anyone it sees. We need to deal with this as soon as possible. So Tronka, get out there. See if you can snipe this boom rat from far away. Alright, and now you need to go extinguish these fires. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Tronka? I appreciate that you want a busher, but I need you to prioritize har harvesting these trees. We need to get the passive coolers up. Let's go. We've delayed long enough. There you go. Perfect. 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 Alright. Minyaka, does this give you enough wood to start building these passive coolers? Okay, fantastic. We've already brought the heat down inside to a nice 87. Um, let's cancel... This. We're probably good with just one passive cooler in here. Though we should build a couple of other passive coolers in here to make the temperature manageable in our pantry so our food doesn't spoil like immediately. And we should build a couple passive coolers in and around this place. Keep it nice and cool for those of us who are doing work in here. It's going to take a lot of wood to maintain this passive coolers, but uh, it's going to be worth it. Um, and I think it's about time to wrap up the episode. We've gotten a lot done, even though we haven't really expanded the base at all. We actually have a decent prospect of getting a third colonist who won't die of an infection, because we're getting this third colonist as a reward. And all we need to do is babysit this Xiao guy for 12 days, and Xiao's actually being very productive, keeping our base nice and tidy in the meantime. Um, Gorilla is growing up to be a healthy baby. We just need to get on top of this, this heat stroke, which it looks like we already have. Um, so yeah, everything's going really well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.